to the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's suffering, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care. Watch over them, not because you must, but because you are willing. As God wants you to be, and not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording in over those trusted entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to the elders. All of you, close yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith because you know that family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of our grace, who called you to this eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power. Forever and ever. Amen. With the help of Silas, whom I regard as faithful as a faithful brother, I have written to you briefly, encouraging you and testifying that this is true grace of God. Stand fast in it. She who is in Babylon, chosen together with you, sends you her greetings, and so does my son Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ.